Rage today over possible cuts to the SNAP program is the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or food stamps. Yeah, the Trump administration's budget has called for $213 billion to be cut from SNAP. News 8 anchor Scott McDonald shows us how some folks feel about that. Scott. Darren and Ann, no surprise, many are not happy believing gashing the food stamp program will not end hunger, but drive people deeper into poverty. There was a long line at the TNJ IGA supermarket in East Haven today, but it wasn't to check out, it was to speak out against proposed cuts to SNAP. Fear is that those who need it the most, kids, the disabled, and senior citizens, will be hurt the most by the cuts. The folks who spoke their mind today said that SNAP is helping out, not a handout. To be looked upon as and judged as a lazy bum you know, who's just here to get free food. A proposal that would implement strict work requirements for SNAP recipients, and it's a thinly veiled attempt to kick people off of the program. The vast majority of food stamp recipients today work if they can. And according to Delora, one in eight Connecticut residents rely on SNAP for meals, and more than half of the recipients in our state are families with children. That's the latest for now. Darren and Ann, back to you.